Hey, welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be continuing our series looking at the MBNF watch line watches that are in the Horological Machine uh, collection as well as the Legacy Machine collection. We've already done a, a review slash initial thoughts of the uh, HM1. I'll put a link in the description to that video. This is the review slash initial thoughts of the HM2. Again, I don't have the watch with me, but these are just the way in which I would look at this watch. I want to tell you a little bit about the history of it, um, the story behind it, look at the design of the watch, and then give you my, my thoughts of it. But before we get into that, and if you haven't done this already, I say it just about every video, smash that like button for us, really would help us out. And if you are interested in watch videos, um, subscribe to our channel, really would, um, like I said, help us out. So. Um, the HM2 was obviously part of the Horological Machine collection. It was first launched in 2008, and it has this very distinct rectangle, rectangular um, case shape, which measures 59 millimeters from left side to right side, um, and 39 millimeters, I believe, 39 millimeters from top to bottom. The case, um, the cases that they've created for these, there's been a couple of versions of it. The first is in 18 karat gold. You can get a white um, and titanium case. The titanium is normally the base plate. And then there's a red gold um, and titanium version. Again, the titanium is that base plate. Then there's a ceramic edition where the um, watch is made out of ceramic. And then there's also a sapphire edition, which is in their SV limited edition, where you have an S uh, a sapphire um, case. Um, the functionality of the watch, there's two dials on the watch, one on the left side, one on the right side. The left uh, dial is a retrograde date with a bi-hemisphere uh, moon phase. And on the right side, there is a jump hours, uh, jump hours with a uh, concentric retrograde minutes. So um, super complicated movement uh, watch within it. The movement that's powering it is this three-dimensional engine that was created by Jean-Marc Biderecht, which is one of the friends um, of Max, obviously MBNF, Max Buzer and friends. Friends are a super important part. So I wanna give a huge shout out to Jean-Marc Biderecht for his work here. Um, the movement is obviously powered by the Girard Perigo oscillator and gear train, so you've got some um, GP parts within it. Um, and then obviously when you turn the, the watch over, similar to the HM1, you have this famous battle axe um, rotor, which is in 22 karat gold, which is a super unique uh, element of the horological machines that Max has created. Um, the inspiration from the design was back in the 20th century. Um, these uh, space platforms and the sci-fi novels that Max was reading during his childhood were really the, what he was envisioning when he created the design for this watch. As, as you can see, as I've said before, there are two dials on, on this watch and those are like the portholes of these spaceships um, or the platforms of those spaceships. And um, you can also see that they're bolted down on the corners of the HM2. So huge inspiration from the kind of space novels um, that were prevalent throughout the science uh, fiction novels that Max was reading during his childhood. It's a really cool design. I think it's, um, it's definitely uh, something you're not gonna see every day. Um, this was another one of those watches that really uh, caught my attention when I first got into watches on Instagram. Uh, this was something that was completely out of the ordinary and, and really caught my eye. So going into my thoughts, I really like the fact that this brings to life Max's vision and the story behind it. Um, as I've said previously in a lot of my other videos, Life on the Wrist is all about the stories behind these watches and um, the fact that Max kind of had this uh, memory of reading these science fiction novels and uh, brought to life the the portholes and the the bolts that he remembers seeing in them and created this horological piece of art is is truly wonderful and I really love the fact that he brought in people like Jean-Marc Videres to create this and to bring to life this this vision. I actually really like just looking at the wearability of the watch. I can imagine and I'm, I'm looking at people's wrists and uh, watching other reviews. Um, I like the fact that the length of the wrist is actually uh, sitting on the wrist as opposed to um, over it. So you have 59 millimeters on the wrist, but um, from top to bottom, it's only 39 millimeters. So it's probably going to wear quite, quite nicely. And looking at other people with this watch on the wrist, um, it looks like it fits really well, which means I could probably wear it being that I have skinny wrists, but 39, 39 millimeters really, really isn't that bad. Um, 
when I look at trying to tell the time on it, unfortunately, I just, it, I, my test for telling if I can read it, read a watch nicely is if I look at the watch quickly, I can read the time. So at a glance, basically. And at a glance for this watch, I actually find it quite difficult to read. Perhaps it's because the dial is very complicated, but I don't think that's the point of why Max created this watch. Max created this watch because it is a horological piece of art. It's a sculpture that he wanted to bring to life with his childhood memories. Um, so telling time, you can use your phone, just like Max says. Uh, this is a piece of art that you're gonna wear on your wrist and that's what you have to treat it as. So you may not be able to read it as a, at a glance or I not, may not be able to read it at a glance, but that's not the point and I completely understand that. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of the HM2. It's a really great watch. Um, like I said, it, hard to read at a glance. I probably, out of all the watches that he's created, this might be the one that I probably might not purchase. <laughs> um, but uh, I think that's just because I love the other designs a lot more uh, as opposed to this one. But I, I appreciate this watch so much and it's another great masterpiece that have, has come out of um, MBNF and within the Horological Machine uh, collection. So if you've made it this far and you haven't already, would love if you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let us know what you think about this watch in the comments section below. And with that said, I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day.